The official trailer for Thor Love and Thunders dropped, Ted Lasso might be Blue Beetle, Xbox turns down Marvel, and I talked to more of the cast from Top Gun Maverick. But before I get into all that, if you're new to the channel, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn notifications on. If you've been here before, hit that like button and let's get started. The best geek news! Hello, hello, I'm Chris Killian. We don't have time for pleasantries. We have way too much news. Yep, son. Time's a wasted. The official trailer for Thor Love and Thunder just dropped and it is wild. Come on, you love it. I hate it. Some quick thoughts and observations about the trailer itself. We got further confirmation that Natalie is jacked and that Jane Foster's not a variant since she's clearly aware of her history with Thor. She also might have been blipped since her time is off. We also got our first official look at Christian Bale as Gore the God Butcher doing his damnedest to make Voldemort look like a Muppet baby. He also shows off All Black, the symbiotic necrosword made out of the bones of a celestial. Oh my God. I'm loving that Russell Crowe uses a genuine Greek accent with Zeus. It's too bad Gore is about to go all Kratos on him, which is why I'm assuming Valkyrie has his lightning bolt. Also, I think Taika just coined the phrase God Bod. <laughs> God Bod indeed. Hey look, Thor now has a RIP Loki tattoo on his back. Be honest, you didn't notice his back, you sinners. Hashtag release the flick cut. I was just naked just then and very new. On Twitter, there seems to be some commotion over the Thor Love and Thunder trailer, specifically over Russell Crowe's Zeus, who some people are complaining Marvel turned into a joke. Look, if you know anything about Greek mythology, you know Zeus is a complicated cat and you only saw like two seconds of him in the trailer. If you don't think Russell Crowe can go from jovial Jupiter to berserker rage Maximus at the flip of a switch, you clearly don't know anything about Russell Crowe. Are you not entertained? As great as Thor Love and Thunder looks, it's exciting knowing how excited the cast are for it. Just the other day, Hemsworth said that Thor Love and Thunder is the greatest thing he's ever had the pleasure and honor of working on. And that means a lot coming from the man who's in Ragnarok, the third greatest MCU movie of all time. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like, uh your opinion, man. Today, Netflix dropped the first trailer for The Gray Man, starring Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans. It looks awesome. It can best be described as a thinking man's fast and furious. You just took your foot off the tiger's neck. DC and Warner Brothers' upcoming Blue Beetle film has reportedly cast Ted Lasso star Jason Sudeikis as a major character. How about that? According to the Cosmic Circus, a cast listing for a Ted body double indicates that Sudeikis will more than likely be playing another Ted, Mr. Ted Cord, one of the original Blue Beetles. Recently, Susan Sarandon was tapped to portray the villainous Victoria Cord, who shares Ted's last name, so Ted Cord being in the film is a no-brainer. Now, if this is true, then Jason Sudeikis as Ted Cord Blue Beetle perfect casting. And I think we all agree. A new story has come out revealing that Xbox once had the opportunity to make exclusive video games with Marvel, but turn them down? Excuse me? As revealed in the book, The Ultimate History of Video Games Volume 2, Marvel Games executive Jay Ong alleges he approached both Xbox and PlayStation about having exclusive rights to Marvel games, and Xbox ended up turning Marvel down to focus on its own properties. Hey, it's gotta be a joke. There's no way you guys turned down the exclusive Spider-Man video game rights so you could focus on Sea of Thieves. Come on. Bonehead move. Top Gun Maverick hits theaters this Friday, and if you haven't got your tickets yet, what are you waiting for? A few weeks back, I got a chance to talk to some of the cast and had a chance to ask some of the pilots about just how sick they got flying those jets in real life. First time that you guys go up in the jets, uh, I got a little nauseous just watching the movie, so I need to know who threw up. We were actually worried about that in, yeah, there was as we were doing filming, our debriefs, yeah. we were like, okay, we have to make sure people don't get motion sickness watching this yeah. film. Yeah. There was even I say, that, like, I say that like lovingly. Like I wasn't like really so sick. And then we, we just want to get you out. on the edge. We yeah. just want to get you right I just wanted there. a taste of it. Yeah, you yeah. know, yeah. just yeah. like yeah. right here, but then it goes back. You know, Lewis could tell you right. about that. There yeah. was gonna be like a second we were we were joking about there being like a secondary version of the movie that came out that was like Top Gun, can you handle it and there's gonna yeah. be like puke bags like in front of you because it was just gonna be so there is some stuff that was like it was yeah. too disorienting to use. Could you imagine having like motion chairs that like yeah. move you around with while the all. wind is blowing at yeah, you yeah. Yeah. and there's sprints suntan lotion. Yeah maybe some <laughs> some scratch and sniff cards or something yeah. that come with it. When you guys go up in the jet for the very first time did any of you throw up? Is that was that a thing that happened? Because I got nauseous just watching it. I think, I, well, that's good, good noted. Well, no, yeah, there was, the a, way, there was a moment that we're like, oh my God, is it gonna be, how, how are people gonna experience this? But I think there was a, There was a, a moment job. where we thought about releasing two versions of the movie, Top Gun Maverick and Top Gun Maverick Extreme. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm not kidding. Where we were like, how, how are our audiences gonna take this? This is so visceral and intense, yeah. but 
everybody got Top Gun Maverick Extreme. Yeah. But I think I, we we've all become a little bit more um, comfortable sharing our puking stories. I think because yeah. it's yeah. it's yeah. I, there's there's so much resilience in. I, the, the toughest part for me is what, like is puking and then having to do something productive right after. Yeah. And being up there for only a two hour window, and if you get sick, you're like you better hold, like get it together right. or else you're not going to make the cut of that scene. Yeah. So it was one of those things that after a moment you, we'd have to like level off, take a breath of already something that's of oxygen that's already being pumped into you, and then tie the little puke bag in, put it in your little pocket, yeah. and then get the shot. And I think that brought a different texture of like of the severity of what we were doing yeah. and the intensity. So I think, um, yeah, we've all just been more comfortable admitting it. And just like that, I want to see the Top Gun Maverick Extreme Cut. That's that for Tuesday. Thank you guys so much for all the support, especially for the great messages yesterday about Daily Distraction airing on Paramount+. Plus. Please keep tuning in and sharing the show with your pals, and let's keep growing this thing together. What thing? The, th the thing. All of the stories in this video came from articles written on comicbook.com, so if you'd like to read more about some of today's news with your very own eyeballs, feel free to head over to comicbook.com where we work 24-7 to keep you all up to speed on the latest news. You can also follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and more, all of which are linked below. If you're someone who likes listening to other people argue for hours on end about this sort of stuff, we've got you covered there as well with Comic Book Nation, hosted by Kofi Outlaw every Friday, or our Marvel-focused podcast hosted by my best friend of me, Brandon Davis, on Wednesdays. If you want some behind-the-scenes antics or previews of my cosplay, or you want to know what it's like to live on a spaceship for months at a time, Time with no genuine human interaction. Find me on Instagram at CK Comedy or Twitter at Chris Killian, all links below. Once again, make sure you like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications, and give yourself a pat on the back for making it this far into the video. It's great. I can't believe you made it. See you tomorrow.